three people hospitalized after part of a tree fell right on top of them where they were camping. This was last night as heavy rain rocked a campsite in Indiana. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Audley is at Whitewater Memorial State Park. She has a look at the impact the storms left behind. It's all hands on deck Monday at Whitewater Memorial State Park. Indiana DNR crews hard at work clearing debris from storm this weekend. A lot of trees, a lot of things flying around. Tony Rader and her family watched the heavy rain Sunday through the window of their camper. Everything was kind of flying that way. And then all of the emergency vehicles, they showed up. Those vehicles heading just down the road after part of a tree fell on three people at a campsite nearby. It's it's unlikely. A 15 year old, 35 year old and someone in their 60s got hurt. Part of this tree just completely crushed some of their camping gear. It's not the first time this family has had bad luck this weekend. A previous storm knocked a tree right into their car, smashing through that window. Everything just kind of culminated together to where, you know, the winds and the storm just happen to be in that same location where it causes the, the limb to come down and they happen to be in that same exact spot where it was coming down. All three were hospitalized, but their injuries are not considered life threatening. We saw these cop cars go by and we assumed that trees fell down in that area. So we were kind of worried that it might happen here also. Carla Mendoza pulled up just as the storms rolled in. Like immediately ran to the tent to hold it down because last year we came around this time and like the same thing happened. So, and last year we had a bigger like tent, so it flew away. By Monday, campers are back to business as usual. As crews work around them to clear debris. No damage, we didn't lose anything luckily, but we stay because we have the campers, so we feel pretty safe. In Whitewater Memorial State Park, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.